Okay, uh, this video is, is going to show you how to uh, modify the Raspberry Pi uh, image, how to change the quartz, how to add more uh, overlay into an uh, image that do not have overlay. So right now I have this one uh, mapped to it. The way you reject it is you click on unmount and then this will okay so it's ready for you to reject it then you look for the driver that this i think i believe this one is called k so you're gonna first you reject it from here and then you have to uh Okay, I open up the file manager so I could find the Raspberry Pi and I could reject it. So now when I reject it, this is disappeared too. So now I could uh, pop the SD card out and put the one that I want to add, the basil, and also change the, the final burnout version. So now K is inside now. I just put it in and it mounted as the end drive so here it's okay and i need to go to the end drive so i'm going to type in end drive so i can minimize this now so this linux file system for window is a free software and you could purchase it and uh when it does aspire, you still could use it. Okay. But sometimes it gives your computer some problems. Sometimes you have to reboot it. It's probably the best if you run into a problem. So this is pointing to Raspberry Pi Basil. That's not what I want. Invalid memory. Okay. So what I'm going to do is go to the core that have the driver, Raspberry Pi, and we're going to go to config, config all. retro and then there's the overlay see this one is totally empty okay so now i went and back up so you can actually copy the whole image because you can't really see the image you only can see the k so the raspberry pi image you can't see it unless you plug it in to the raspberry pi but this you don't have to plug into raspberry pi you could actually copy things in and taking things out so I want to copy the final burnout from uh, from virtual man because that final burnout it actually work for me. But at the same time, uh, I'm I'm already in this folder. So what I'm going to do is uh, open up another folder so I don't have to close that one and go into pi type in p okay so i copy the dynamic and the virtual man in the a gigabyte virtual 101 smasher uh, ram shot you see he doesn't have overlay so i wanted to get the overlay and put it in here but where did i copy the other one Virtual main dynamic. Oh, I copy to a folder called Pi.
Okay, I found it. I it was a 128 gigabyte ultra virtual uh, game. Uh, he have a vertical screen, so I need to go to the same directory as this one, which is config. So you want to go to where's the location at? Go to opt. So I'm gonna go to opt. Go to retro pi configuration all retro and then look for overlay. So he had one, two, three. And the one I want is the one that is sonic. So you view large icon or you can view extra large. And it have let's just double click as easier. It's taking a long time to load. I'm copying those over here so that way I could choose the overlay that I want and then I could move it over. Now remember this is a vertical screen so right now it looks like it's sideways but once it go into here it will put it will post this so the screen if it's not stretched out it will automatically display this as uh, you know and I will do it per each game or per each console. Right now, all the Sega Genesis have black screen on top and bottom. So I will be looking for the one that uh, is a Sega Genesis one, which is a Sonic one. So he have the, he, this is the one I want to use for my Sega Genesis. That's the one he have. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to go ahead and copy everything over. So that way, in case I need it, I have it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the RK one, they're all, they're all made for vertical. So I'm going to copy those, come over here and paste it. So because if you don't use this program to do it, sometimes when you copy the, the overlay, it's okay because uh, it will work. But if you, we, if you are copying the chords, it's a little bit different, all right? So this is how you copy the. Let me put this in. Uh, let me put this in Notepad so we will remember. Uh, I think I already have Notepad open already. Okay. So no, this is a configuration. I want to open a new one. So this is uh, the overlay location all right and you need the software called I'll do that last okay so now it's copying that over the next thing I want to do is I want to replace the different different version of final but now burn alpha. Uh, 2012 and uh, May 2003 plus. Okay, so I'm going to copy those over there and I'm going to go back to retro. Here I'm going back to retro. This side will be a little bit slower because this is actually inside the image. Normally you can't see all this, but because of that program, you can see everything. And when you copy file over, it's not it's going it's not going to say you cannot do that. At this moment, it will it's telling you you cannot do that because well, at this moment, it's not telling you you cannot do that because you are not running the program, so there's no uh, right protected on it will prevent you, the operating system prevent you doing it. So you can now go to uh, Lipper Core, and that's where they keep all the, the, all the cores that you need to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the final burnout. So I'm going to take the final burnout from here. 
And if you look at the version, it's going to be a little bit different than the one here. This part is the latest one because I just downloaded it today or yesterday, and it's March tw March twentieth. So this is all came from this month, which is yesterday. This one actually is March twenty first. Oh, the reason is March twenty first because I just copy it out from another server. So that's why the so this one you, you cannot really I apologize you can't really base on the date because it's the day is based on what you copy out, so the day is not real accurate. So this one is 19510, 19, and this one is 19652. So see, this file is bigger than this file. This is the one that i able to run that game well from this version, and this one I cannot. Now, it's always a good idea to back up everything, which I did. I back up all my stuff. Now it's safe to go ahead and uh, replace all the files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Final Burnout and I'm going to grab um, May 2003 2003 plus. Now May 2003 worked fine on his and his is mainly running May 2003 anyway. So I'm not going to replace that one. I'm just going to replace those two because I know those two uh, and I'm going to go ahead and replace 2010 and 2016 because I can't get none of those to work. So I'm going to look for May. Huh, apparently I don't have May 2006 here. So I leave 2010 alone. Go ahead, and copy the two, the May 2003 plus and May 2012. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to paste it. Now, last time when I try to do that, it won't let me. It say, uh, "Right protected." You cannot do that. But now, since I am, uh, I'm not in Raspberry Pi. I'm want to replace those files with the one that I know it worked the best, because I can't get the Demon Font, the one that play like a Metal Slot, the Demon Font Font RK one. I couldn't get that to work. So I'm going to replace those. See, it asked me, do you want to? Yes, I want to replace those. So now those will actually work. Now, the next thing I want to do is I wanted to add this one only work. This one only have one main screen, which is RK. And I wanted to play Super Nintendo and Topo 16 on it. Uh, right now, it, it allow you to play Genesis and allow you to play uh, the Nintendo and RK, and I install all the. Excuse me, I install all the final, but uh, all the main different version of main. So those are working right now. So, in order for me to add more to it, so this one is copying overlay, and this one is copying the two driver. So we're gonna go next thing. Next thing is I wanted to modify the, the list. So when I when I ins when I put some new game in there, I could actually go and uh, go and select uh, Super Nintendo as one of the courts. So I'm going to emulator now. Oh, let me make a let me make. So this is the location. Well, let's do it from here. So the system is a little bit slow. What I'm going to do is copy the path so I will remember where to locate at. So now I put the location for uh, copying the final burnout in 2003 to to this location. So I'm replacing replacing a different version. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is to add more different. different chord in the in the RK uh, RK selection chord
selection. Okay. Now, last time I did this, it didn't work because I did not copy the correct information over. So this time I have it open so I could go ahead and do that. So the one I'm going to do is here. I'm going to go to Raspberry Pi, go to emulator. Okay. I'm going to, uh, let me take that back. I'm going to, how come I don't see it now? Okay, configuration, I'm going to RK. Instead of all, I'm going to RK. Okay. Uh, in RK, there's one called emulator. So this is the path that I need to go to change. And then you open up the file called emulators.cfg. And then you're going to, once you open it, you're going to add those chords. So I'm going to go ahead and edit. Edit with Notepad++. And I'm going to add, see right now there's 2000 plus, there's 1.4, 1.9, and there is Nintendo one here. And there is the other one here, which is the Sega Genesis. And I wanted to play Turbo 16 and Super Nintendo. So I have them open right here. So I'm going to click on it. So those are not, those are the game. This is from the all, this the all, here's the one. All right, this is the D4 for PC engine. Okay, the one is D4 one. This is the one I want, the top one. So I'm going to copy that top one, and then I'm going to go to the one that I have open down here, and I'm going to add it to here. Okay. The next one I want to add is the, the Super Nintendo one. Now, you're wondering where you get those. I got this from this location called, uh, well, I made a copy, but it's actually located in the config NES emulator.cfg so you have to go to each one and right now i'm in rk so i'm, I'm in the rk menu adding nes information to the rk emulator.cfg this is the emulator when you open up and select game it gives you an option to pick 2002 2005 and 2010 okay the only one that i know that worked the best is 2010 so i'm not going to even bother with those other ones I'm not really sure if that's the case because because sometimes some of the Super NES work better with 2005 and 2010. So by default it's 2010. Yeah, let's just use 2010. Let's use both. Let's grab both just in case. I'm going to go ahead and grab both. So I'm going to go to the this one and I'm going to paste both of them. Now here's a question. You have to have both of them before you could do this, 2005 and 2010, because it's going to go to the 2005 and 2010 folder to look for the physical ROM, which is those. So let's go ahead and save this. And that's what I want to do. And I want to keep it open just in case I want to change it. So let's go to 2005 and make sure that there is a 2005 in here. Not this one, this one. So you go to, back to config, not too much, config. This is the one we were in. We are inside the RK, but the information we are putting in there are from the Super Nintendo. So we're gonna go to the S, look for Super Nintendo. And this is the information that, that I opened that I grab those two to bring it over, okay? All right, those are the two. That's how I got the information. Now let's go to the, not config, but the Lipo Retro Court. And let's look for uh, the one that we have open called 2005 and 2010. So they both are there, even 2002. But I don't think anybody really used 2002 that much. 2005 and 10 are the most, the one that we will be using. So.
So if that work, we could add Game Boy, we could add other stuff, but mainly it's going to be arcade because uh, the reason I'm add, adding Super Nintendo is because there is two games in there that from X-Men cabinet, uh, super, uh, called uh, X-Men vs. Capcom, and the other one is called Marvel, Marvel vs. Capcom. Both of those cabinets uh, come with, I think, four games. I think one of them, the Marvel one, Marvel vs. Capcom, come with five games. But each one of them come with two NES games. And those two NES, NES games require those ROM. Okay. So now those are added and I save it. The next thing is I'm going to bring the game over. Okay, so I'm going back all the way down to N. And I'm going to go to the home directory, go to Pi and go to Raspberry Pi, and there's the ROM. This is how you copy the ROM out and then save it for later. That's how I collect my ROM set. I copy them out either using this program. Normally, I don't use this program. I use the one called uh, the WinSCP. And this is the program that I log in, and you will see the same thing. But this one, when you log in into it, it, it Right now, I don't have a plugin, so I can't log in. When I log into it, when I copy stuff in, it say you don't, you cannot overwrite the file. It won't let you. But if you copy out, it's okay. So when you, so this one you can use to copy things out. But to modify the image, you have to use this. So that way, it won't say you, you know, you cannot do this, you cannot do that. So that's the, this is the reason why we're doing this to modify the image. Now, I'm going to add more games to RK. They are not RK games, they actually belong to Super Nintendo. But I have a backup copy, and that would be on my uh, same place. Going to go back out. And this time, I'm going to the 8 gig uh, button smasher 101 virtual image by. Wim's shot. That's the one I'm adding more game to it to be have a complete arcade game, arcade one up game. So now we have NES and I have a Pi directory. And I'm going to go, I think I believe I put it here. Okay, I put it in NES because I originally was in arcade folder. I pulled it out because it wasn't working. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those back in there. One I added, okay, one that I added. So all the artwork and everything is going to be here plus the game. So I already, oh, I pulled that one out because that one, I already have a, another version in there. So I don't need a two version. So I'm going to, no, Capcom is already there. Okay, this is the one that I added. So I do need to go to Super Nintendo one. The other. Okay, so there's the air bump, Patman, Patman, and then the Cotton B. That one I have to overclock, so I want to see if it works. And then Final Fight is the arcade, but I'm not sure it will work. So I have Pinball Game and Bunk, Air Bunk, and I don't have my Super Nintendo, so I need to find my Super Nintendo. So I'm going to copy that. I already have the artwork inside already. It just didn't work, so I pulled it out. So once I copy it, this thing will turn. It's still loading, see? So once copy, I'm gonna paste it, and then I'm gonna paste the, the Super Nintendo. Okay, now I'm ready to paste it. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do is a Super Nintendo one. So here's all the Super Nintendo, Final Fight 2, 3, Guy, and Marvel. War of the Gin. That's the one that was in the RK one up, and also the other one called the uh, X Men Mutant Park Park Society. Those are also us. Uh, and then I added the Ninja Turtle in Time, Super Mario World, and Super Mario Kart, and Super Bunk, and Final Fight Three Two and Guy from Super Nintendo one. Now I paste it here, and 
I should have those games. Now there's one game that I like and I forgot to uh, put it in there. So I'm going to go to my 12 gig and I'm going to look for Virtual Man. Virtual Man is a good place to download and there's another one called the uh, Picky. Picky have like a uh, couple tail byte that you could find in RK Punk and it's it's not an image it's a physical ROM that you could download and so i'm gonna look for sega sega drive so yeah there is a lot of place to find all the all the game uh, a lot of people uh, provide you uh, Especially RK Punk have a lot of stuff, and then there's a one called archive.org. They also have a lot of cool game. So I'm gonna go to console. I'm gonna go to uh, home console, and I'm gonna look for Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, and I'm looking for Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse Illusion. There's Mickey Mouse. Uh, or Castle, Castle Illusion, starting Mickey Mouse. That's one of the my my game that I like. So that's the one I copy. So I'm gonna copy that, come over here and paste it in here. All right. So all the new game you added, you got to run that program like I is you know in the track uh, to be able to add it to the the game list because right now the game list uh doesn't have this extra game you just add that I just added. So I'm gonna put that in there. I know I could put a lot of cool game. I'm just gonna put the one that I personally just pop in my head. And then when you do that, you also have to copy the wheel and the snap. So I'm gonna type in C A S. See this this is why I like to get it from the from other people's ROM set because their names are matching. You don't have to rename it. You don't have to do all that like we do in Neo Geo Arcade Stick, which is pain in the neck. So you take that, you paste it here, and now you have the wheel. But now you don't have the snap video. And the snap video I recommend is like less than three minutes best. Anything longer than that is just going to eat up your disk space. Uh, snap, oh, not snap, the uh, pass. Castle Illusion, and they exactly the same name. So we're just gonna copy that and put it in here and paste it. Now this image do not use the the box art, so there's no need to copy any box art. I try to copy the box art in here, but it actually deleted and only have one left. I thought I put a whole bunch in there, but it didn't come through. Now he does have mixed art on his, and those are like you know video plus the little artwork on the side but since he doesn't use it there's no need to copy that over okay all right so this this one is ready uh, just added on uh, the nintendo and sega genesis so i'm ready to reject this one out so this is ready i modify the the file and i should able to select those now hopefully this will work so I'm going, before I reject it, I have to turn it off from this program that I have open, the Linux program. This allow you to see the Linux operating system without physically have the physical hardware. You could actually see all the Linux image using this program, which is pretty cool. Then I'm going to unmount and see, put it close the program because I have it open with Android. And I mount it, now I could reject it. Then once I reject it, then this screen will disappear. So sometimes it takes a long time for my computer to pull this. So I sometimes I just go directly to the K drive and just select reject. There you go, it pop out here now. So I could reject from here or do it from here. So I just reject it. And when I reject it, this disappear because there's nothing mapping. So now I take it out and I'm ready to go test it. But so that is how you use this program.
So I'm going to go ahead and write that program down that you guys could download uh, or Google search it because it's a pretty good program to have and it's free. So you, you need, so all those locations is nice and dandy. You could use, you could use Win SCP or you could use this program called Linux File System for Windows by P A R A G O N Software Company. And this is a free software. And so if you use it a lot, I recommend that you know you could try it, you like it, you could go ahead and buy it, you know, because it is a good program. Uh, all right, so that's how you do it. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna go check it out and hopefully everything works. That will be cool. Hi, I just want to go over the Star Trek games. Uh, if you press the tab key, uh, like the tab key here, if you press the tab key, this will show up. It doesn't matter which May. It could be May 2003, it could be 2016, it could be anything. When you press this, the reason this joystick is so sensitive and that you have to get those a special type of joystick is they they make it so fast. So I changed the 100 to 50 and then this uh, X is 15 and the joystick speed is 15 for the X and here uh, I'm going to put 15 as well. That's what I did with the, the other Star Trek, uh, Star War. So 15, 15, and then this one 50. It was 100. Because I was like, how come I can't even control the doggone stick? It's like going crazy. And then also, in the gameplay, they have up is down, and down is up. So whenever you're trying to shoot, uh, our brain is telling us to go up, but then the game is going the opposite direction. So if you fix that also, then you won't have that direction problem, okay? So we're going, I'm going to show you that uh, this is the, a different game. So we're just going to do this one right now. Press enter. And let's return the game. Alright. Uh, okay, there you go. Easy. So we have, I have all the Star Trek game, like the cabinet. Uh, the we Jedi's return and see it moves so crazy like left and right yeah this one probably need to reduce to 10 it was on 10 it's not as okay so you press the the tab key and this will come up again so you have to adjust it to your liking so press A and yeah the 15 is still too too much of a sensitivity I mean the speed and the sensitivity is still too much I'm gonna bring it down to 35 and this one as well 35 because I feel like I can't even play the game without just dying all the time. Okay, and then return. And return. Alright, let's try again. Press star. So that's why the Star Trek is so hard to to able to emulate on your own because it, it comes in the setup with weird setup. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, this this game itself is it, just too sensitive. But yeah, it helped. It helped. This one helped. But I want to touch touch that one. I'm not that crazy about playing. But the one. So I got. Ugh. Sorry. Let's get out of that screen. So I have. Okay. I think we just did the return of the Jedi's. Did we?
Yeah, we just did that one. So I have the one that came with a uh, RAM uh, shot. That's his image, 8 gig. Uh, but when I put it into a SD card, I put it on a 32 gig. gig. But I never merged them together. So it's still 8 gig and you still have enough space to uh, because when he put on 8 gig, it still have a lot of space to do add-on. So I add a, 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 a 50 most popular game, some he already have, and then I also add my uh, favorite game. I think roughly about 20 or 30. So you got a lot of cool game like all oh, this is one I have added, and Golden Axe is something I don't think he have. G.I. Joe add that, Ghost and Buster, and this one, uh, Gollum 2 is also been added. And Galaga 88 is being added as well. And then this one actually work. So the Golden Axe 2, let's press B. Now, I also, uh, I haven't complete add all the Street Fighter game. But I add the one that Street Fighter 1, 2, and 3 plus the the Street Fighter Strike uh, Third Strike and Second Strike those are in there and they play well too but the only thing is uh, I only have uh, this one only have enough space to put four joystick so you will have to add somewhere for the, the other two button because you won't be able to play those uh, medium is a uh, it's light, I think hard, or light medium, but there's no, uh, there's missing two more buttons. So therefore you can use the L button, which is the hard punch and hard kick. But yeah, this one actually work on this machine uh, with this emulator, I mean with Raspberry Pi 3B. So, and it doesn't have any uh, stutter in the, the screen. It seemed to be uh, just fine, you know. So let's play the game, start the game. Let's turn it up a little bit. Yeah, I don't like the idea the this A button doesn't do nothing. But the get that point the there you go finally got it. okay so that's golden axe the the re revenge of the dark age so looking for the street fighter uh the one you could play the hack one you could play all the boss is here final fight yeah the empire strike back that's the that's the one Now, I don't think I don't know did I correct the sens sensitivity on this one. The I think the other one I did. So see, my up is down, down is up. So what you want to do is press uh, sh slack and X, and then you're going to reverse the. Go to the controller, press A, and then change your your up and down button to a different one. So right now, the joystick going up, you want it to down. The one is down, 
you want it up Oop. up okay and then you want to save it just per game you don't want to, you don't want to save it on all the gameplay you want to save it just for this game so you're going to save the game we map so you're going to press a so now this game when you play the up is up down is down because the game come with the opposite and that's how the that's why the game is so hard to play with the regular joystick so we're going to get out and start we zoom so now my left my down is down my up is up down is down and, and the sensitivity of this game is is too much so we are going to change that by pressing the the tab key okay and we're gonna we're going to go to the analyze control press a now this screen is, is smaller so I'm going to zoom in so right here you see the joystick speed is 30 which is the but sensitivity is too much I want to change it to uh, 50 because the other one is 50 I'm going up instead Okay, so now the X and Y both are 50 and the joystick speed is, I want to change it to, I want to change it to 15, see how that go. Because I remember when I was playing with templates on one of the, So I change that to 15 and then we could try. Alright, so it's 50. Most of my setting is always 50 and 15, 15, 50. Then you just want to exercise out this game. May the force be with you. And return. So now your sensitivity is not going crazy. You could actually control the joystick. See now I could actually control my joystick without it going like super crazy. I could actually shoot things now. It's like there's no reason for me to able to not able to control my shooting if all the stupid sensitivity is going crazy. I can even shoot the, the the stuff that's shooting at me. Get that shit. Why is my shooting so bad? So that's how you you will fix your your so both both three RK I mean all three of them are here and we have some Donkey Kong uh, Keller dinosaur Dig and Duck now I didn't put Dig and Duck too so I need to remind myself put Dig and Duck too I did put Defender now people are like well how do you play I also put Ram Rampage by the way and Space Invader. And all the double double dragon. Uh, now defender is actually pretty cool. Uh, even though this is a vertical screen, he actually play good. I mean, you have to use the you have to use this button to rotate left and right. I mean, the speed up, the speed up. Because uh, the NES version, you just move your joystick left and right, it will move forward. And 
left. But with this game, if you want to speed up, you have to push a button for the arcade version. And this is a full screen, so it doesn't look like it's stretch or anything. It looks like it's meant to be played here. So I'm, I'm kind of happy that I tried some of those arcade. Because the arcade actually, they kind of like... Oh shoot, in fact, that one's coming after me. Got me. So actually, it, it's, it, it played very well here. Then we have... Uh, Double Dragon 3, Double Dragon 2, and they also play very well. I mean, I always had problem playing with Double Dragon. I was like, I thought my skill set was, well, probably is bad, <laughs> it's rusty. But this, I actually could control the character much better than I did with the, the, the emulator, the other emulator that I use that is not using retro. It's like a, it's an animation instead of a uh, court. Well, not animation, emulator is. It's an emulator, but this is this is running retro court. So the character still look fine, you know, and the screen is vertical. So so actually, the arcade game does play well here. See, actually, I could actually control it. Kick his butt. Now I know why people like it. The arcade version. It's a tough game. So a double dragon and then also this shooting game. That's real good shooting game. Captain I added. Commando, I believe I add that. Centipede come with it. Captain Avenger is play nice. Uh I mean Captain Commando and Captain Avenger. So I had a lot of games. Uh also Battle Toast play very well, arcade version. Uh, I think he already had Burger Time. Uh, I think that one come with the system. I believe I had that one. So, and this one actually played well with my uh, with my spinner. So let me demonstrate that. Press B. So you can always reconfigure the joystick to your liking because not all the RK joystick button is mapping the way I like it. I like to have the jump right behind the the main button, you know. But they have the jump in B and then I mean the jump in in Y, you know, and then the, the other one is in B for jump for punching. So I'm going to start the game, insert the coin. So I'm using the, 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 let me bring it down. So I'm using my spinner. It's hard to recall. See, I'm using my spinner. Ah, oh, shoot. Really? <laughs> game over. Start. We start again. You could go by one spin. Ah. The spinner is good. 
It's just me and I'm playing good. See, I could just do, you know, one push and it go across the screen like, you know, very good. See there? Oh, I give up. I never really good at those kind of games. All right. So we were going up direction, correct? So we got all the X-Men. We got all the Mortal Kombat game. Uh, we have... We also have Sega Genesis version and in, and uh, and we also have Ninja Turtle in Genesis version and Super Nintendo version. So even though this is an RK One Up, we have those available because uh, RK One Up is the one who bring that to my uh, attention. Where they add a NES game into the X Men versus Street Fighter cabinet and a Marvel vs Capcom cabinet. Both of them have a NES game, so I I managed to able to add NES into this. So now you could play NES and Turbo 16 game in here. Plus, let me see NES, Turbo 16, uh, Genesis, and yeah, Super Nintendo. So you have Ninja Turtle in time, and this is a this is a Sega Genesis version of the Ninja Turtle. Now I didn't add the NES version. I'm thinking I should because those are the arcade type of a memory type of game. So I need to add a, I need to add Dig and Duck Two, and I need to add the the NES version of a Ninja Turtle. So that way you get the whole family pack. Now I will not go that far as adding Game Boy or Game Boy Advance. I I'm just not into Game Boy, Game Boy Advance or. or Game Boy Color. That's too much of a you know non 8 bit type of game. Now all the Sega Genesis version have a scan line. So I try it and then I can I can redo it, undo it. So I'm kinda like stuck with it. But it's not bad. I mean they have scan line on, on Sega Genesis. All the Sega Genesis game is default to have scan line. I guess it's fine. I mean, a lot of people like the Genesis have scan line because they, they when they make the game, it was made for the CRT TV. So and the pixel look more clear when they have scan line on it. So I need to turn the volume down for game control. So one thing I like about this video that, that work on Gen 2 and Gen 1 is allow you to have voice control and shutdown. So that's one, I mean, not vo yeah, voice, value control, not voice, value control and shutdown. Both get busy, can't figure out which one is my punching. Getting beat up left and right. So Y again is my main kicking punching and then below it is the jump which I don't like that. So I prefer to what it to be next to each other. So to change that you have to change by game. <coughs> Alright, let's get out of this game. And then you have uh, Super Nintendo. That one actually played well in you. <clears throat> one thing I like about Raspberry Pi is the trouble you put in, get it to work, get the wheel, get the you know snapshot, the video and everything, get it working. And it's rewarding because the result come out good. The graphics is good, sound is good, the play experience is good. You know, not like some other console that I have to deal with. After all the work I've done, I'm still not happy. I'm like disappointed. I'm not very thrilled about the end result, you know, because the, the gameplay is just not there, you know, and you can't control the, the ratio of the game. Now in the future, I want to be able to make this tilt left and right. So anytime if I turn the screen around, it's going to rotate, you know, the screen for me that would be my other build I have another build is a full version of it 
this is uh, the smaller version which don't have space for the all the controller I want to take this image and add two more controller for my other cabinet RK one up for the generation one generation two do not have enough space by adding a spinner you don't have space to add another joystick unless I redo the whole joystick thing unless I redo the whole joystick here like uh, change it to a smaller button and change this to a smaller button and then maybe I could add one two three instead of one two one two and I want to put the slack and star next to each other I would have gone I would have I was gonna get rid of this and put this a star and slack you know but then this th this button work with this uh, new video call so I kept them which is cool so yeah, I mean, with this mod, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, I won't be able to play Street Fighter the way I wanted to, but at least it's working. I still could beat them up, even though I can't use all the all the functionality. I mean, I still could pull all the special kick 